Fred stands on a sidewalk. The in vivo process is actually putting yourself in an experience that you know is uncomfortable and staying in it to the point of feeling uncomfortable without bailing out so that you can be less and less uncomfortable as you expose yourself to that environment or that experience. An orange collared shirt covers Fred's broad torso. Now, ornate Arabic writing fills a page. My in vivos I chose was going into a part of town where I knew a substantial amount of Middle Eastern people lived and going into a restaurant. At first, just sitting there. Wearing a blue dress shirt and bow tie, Fred sits in a booth. And I'd bring my own water and my own drink or whatever, and I'd sit there. He folds his hands on the table beside a pint glass with ice in it. And I vowed from within myself, I'm going to stay there at least 45 minutes. I'm not going to leave. In a montage of still images, a server carries two plates. A tiled counter leads to a beverage cooler. Currency from various countries papers a red wall. Within 15 minutes, (laughs) my anxiety was high. Resting his elbows on the table, Fred presses his fingertips to his forehead. Behind the counter, a woman with a green scarf over her head studies an order pad. A tan-skinned young man with a dark beard smiles at her. I brought a hand towel with me so that I can wipe my face. I didn't want to show everyone else that I was feeling this. I held my hands tight under the table uh, so that the fidgeting wouldn't be apparent. A nickel-sized patch of rough skin darkens Fred's knuckle. This scar on my hand here was from all of the anxiety I felt because I would constantly rub it. He presses his hands to the sides of his mouth. I got to 30 minutes, started slightly easing up. The first time, honestly, at at 45 minutes, I got up and left. On the restaurant wall, a clock reads 2.58. The image fades to black. It worked. It did. In vivo process worked for me. It helped me rearrange my thought process that got jumbled up. My whole pattern in my life was messed up. I had to put those boxes back the way they were supposed to be. Back in the restaurant, the woman in the headscarf serves Fred a glass of soda. For me to go in a Middle Eastern restaurant today, I actually welcome it. My core has been reestablished, I could say that. My core was reestablished to where I was before, that I don't have any hatred in my heart. I don't have any reason to hate. It was very helpful. At the counter, the woman and two young men grin. 